How are we? Everybody? Or hopefully everybody comes in. How are we? We are going to talk about some whiskey today. Hopefully everybody comes in. Maybe it's a bad time, but it's a good time for me. Bet you you're getting some echo, 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 echo. Where is this? How are we doing, Loch Ness? Are we getting any echo that go on there? I think I need to hit that button. <clears throat> How's it going in Toronto right now? It's a beautiful day here. Very nice. Eric, how you doing? Thanks for joining in. Alan Kay, I don't think I've seen your name before. Nice to see you. Hope you like whiskey, because that's what we're talking about. I think we need to pop up the chat here so I can see everything. There we go. What are you doing there, uh, Loch Ness? It is a sunny plus 16. I think we reached about the same today. And so that is part of my dilemma at this time of day is should I talk to you guys for a little bit or should I go and start one of the motorbikes up and go for a very gingerly ride because it is packed with sand in this province or this city still. And I do not like that stuff. So it wreaks havoc when you have to break. And trust me, some of the people out here are crazy. And Eric, you're down in Calgary, correct? It's a beautiful day everywhere. Finally got spring. Finally got spring. I got my motorcycle helmet behind me. I was in the room. I took a picture. I was going to use it as a thumbnail. I'm still figuring this stuff out. Uh, and that's it. That's what we're at, gentlemen. So you can see behind me, I've got some Dutch whiskey. Anybody here try any Dutch whiskey? We've got uh, the, the stuff from Millstone is phenomenal. I do have uh, some stuff from Sweden. Sweden, some Swedish. Oh, you're just outside of Toronto. Yeah, that's right. But we're not opening this one here. I've been hoard. Ooh. I hate boxes like this. You guys seen this before? This is an older bottling. It was from Sweden. It is uh, a solid touch, man. I think I swear to God they actually shipped this from Holland. Or from uh, Sweden. Got to say it the right way, Sweden. Yes, Eric. I am now remembering because I think you have a wonderful sharing group out there. Anyway, I have this. Oh, they have English written on this side. We have pursued our dreams and created the Swedish single malt whiskey, 48.2. Well, we don't want to get into a battle. I know. Did you see that? This is a nice bottle. Mac, MacMyra Special Svensk Single Malt Whiskey. It is a special release. But we're not going to open that today. I haven't even opened this bottle. And I was at a tasting with Millstone maybe last year. So we have a bottle here that I want to open. It's a 10-year-old American oak. Nice little wooden box. Um, and if you're in my neck of the woods, they were selling this for about 100 bucks, maybe. 105 and I think there's some things going on because of Canada about to become what will we say oh legal to smoke weed as long as you smoke it the way they tell you to smoke it I guess so they're blowing out some stuff at some of the liquor stores out here to get ready for dispensaries so they have some liquid cash to buy it or build new dispensaries that will be owned by the same as the liquor stores so this is actually brought into Canada by a couple down in Calgary, Alberta. 
They're called Craftwork Spirits and Beverage Limited, in Calgary, Alberta. So, I don't have too many people not watching on here. Some good faithfuls, thankfully. Should I use this topper? Or should I use my new topper from the SN or STDs? Still early in your whiskey journey. All have been single malt scotch, but just bought and tried Amrut Fusion. Did you like it? I have a bottle of Amrut Fusion. Ooh, I don't know if I have Fusion anymore. I have Spectrum. I have Spectrum 004. And I have Sherry, Intermediate Sherry. All right. We don't want to wait all night for all these people. Maybe it's dinner time. Maybe nobody wants to come in. Alan K., where are you from? Caps off. Right over here. Pop. Nice. Not a real cork, which is good. I think we'll use the SMWS topper. I tell you, I believe they make over 600 different whiskeys. So look at the color on that, gentlemen. That is nice. That's 10-year-old American oak. It is. It was distilled in uh, 01 and bottled in uh, 15. How does that work to be 10? 10. Well, I can't read the date right, maybe. Oh. Lots of wood. So I went to a tasting with Patrick Zudeman. That's the name of the family, Patrick Zudeman. And uh, he was actually very fussy. He went to the people and at the tasting and said, how long have these bottles been open that you're pouring for me? It's not because he didn't like it. He, didn't, he said they're not, they've been oxidized. So this guy is fussy and he is the son of the family that owns it. Oh, very much vanilla. Huge influence of the wood, American oak. This stuff is great. Oh, I've got a light flickering over there. Am I too bright in some areas here, gentlemen? Julie is not here to make me look pretty. Okay, we're gonna leave that covered up a little bit. Look at the legs on it. Oh, geez, for a 10 year old. 43% ABV. I think we got something there that I like. We're gonna do a little proper research. Um, I like to be alone with the whiskey. Don't go anywhere. I gotta shut off one of the lights here. I think I put the wrong bulb in it, and it likes to crackle. Hey, Ben. How you doing there, buddy? Sorry about the other day. I kept trying to pop in, but I was with my brother, and he was... My brother was visiting Dad. My brother lives in another province, and he got bad news while he was away that his horse passed away, and it bothers him that he wasn't able to do something for it. He thinks it's colic. Anybody horse lovers out there, that'll make you sad. So we spent some time together. So there we go. Okay. So what am I doing here? You're good. I'm glad you're good, buddy. I I don't really have time for any guests tonight, bud. I've, I've got uh, early work tomorrow. So we will do it another time, maybe. I have opened up this. They have a five-year-old. They have two five-year-olds. Uh, lightly peated and a non-peated one. 
They have a French oak, a 10-year-old French oak, which I have a bottle of. I haven't opened it yet. I wanted to open this first. They have a 12-year-old sherry. Um, and they have a 1999 Pedro Examas case, not cask. I probably didn't pronounce that right. And then they have a 100% rye. And the interesting thing about the rye is his, um, when he was telling us about the rye, it is extremely hard to make 100% rye whiskey. And I have a bottle of that that I've opened, but this is not the one they have of it on advertised on their thing. This is exclusive to a liquor store in my city. It is 100% rye, uh, barrel proof, 53.2% ABV, um, single cask, milled by Dutch windmills, small pot still, new American oak, handmade. If you guys find any of this anywhere, thank you, Julia. Um, this is phenomenal. And if you love oranges, you're going to love this stuff because it is orange after orange. Matter of fact, I'm going to pour a little bit of this to compare it to their 10 year old American oak. And I think you will find it funny. I, Ben, don't you be drinking nothing. You're not old enough. And, uh, I think your videos are pretty funny as it is, buddy. You know how I feel. You stay real, and you're going to do very well. You have tried this one, Julia, the one I just poured, which is this. And it's it's orange rinds. It's uh, more orange, like dried orange, like a candy. North dancer's grade became a heritage site oh uh, north is he from uh kentucky for the kentucky derby my brother's horse is not in the kentucky derby not the same at all this is phenomenal though 10 you know and and if you're in alberta you're getting this here for 50 60 bucks at the most Mm. rye i'm getting rye a lot of rye a lot of oak but not bourbonish let me have a look here guys <laughs> you have fun with that ben i i will check it out my man Thirteen, according to the yes, I think you might be right. Although what they're showing on their site is different here. So this is unpeated malted barley. It say all it says is minimum ten years old, minimum. They are they are handwritten, labeled by hand. Cast type American oak bottle number three fifty six. Not how many bottles there are. I think I need to grab some. You had a bottle of the Millstone 100. I have a bottle of the... No, I don't. I have... Oh. I have a big, a, an older American oak. It's still the 93. Unless I have that in the back. I just... Yeah, I do. 100%, the 100% rye, the regular rye. Now I'm going to want to buy that and open it up with the... But it, that, that one that's from the Cake and Cork is the best one. Oh, and from Oshawa. I used to work on a, in, a, in high school. I was a dishwasher in a 24-hour Chinese restaurant that was on a horse track. Eric, wait. How are you doing today? I did go to see if you were live, and you weren't live, so I thought I'd pop in early today and do a live show. We're doing some Dutch whiskey here. Uh, yes, yes, I do, Ben. I have quite a bit of uh, Tomatin. I haven't bought any of the new bottlings. So I only buy the old stuff. What's 5 p.m. your time? Because I forget how many hours ahead you are. So that's good. 
Perfect timing. I have a lot of stuff to get ready before I go to bed. Mm. It's dry. I like that. Hello, Whiskey Thief. Thank you for the subscription, by the way. I saw that. Appreciate it. I don't think I've seen you in here before, but I hope you're not a real thief. Uh, I saw you on the, in the chat with the STDs today as well. This is this is what we're looking at, gentlemen. It is American oak. It's quite robust. Millstone, actually, or is it distilled in a former mill? No, I believe that they, they use their own. They make over 600 different products, different spirits. Gilcarran 12, I have an 8. I have never tried it yet. All right. I don't know if that answers your question, but they make all their own spirit, Eric. What are you doing to, tonight, Eric? Anyway, what is your live about? If anybody doesn't follow Eric, check him out. He's much more articulate than I am. I think he reads everything right off Etymology's website. Just joking, buddy. Mm, I today Julia went for tequila today with a customer and didn't invite me. Yes, I realize that. Okay. The distillery is in their Holland. They do. It says right on here on this one, which I think I we should get together. I'll send you a sample of this because you can't buy it. They, the liquor store bought the entire um, mill or bought entire cask. Pardon me. I was trying to read a comment at the same time. Um, but Peter Van Zuneman, Zuneman was telling us a story of making this 100% rye. Not just that particular one, but there are other 100% ryes. And he says it is hell on the equipment. The gluten from that rye, he says they got to turn down the speed and just allow the torque to go through to stir it. They can't make it stir without it. Right? So I'm celebrating Earth Day with an earthy whiskey. Well, aren't all whiskeys earthy? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this has got... I don't know where they got the, er, the the oak, but it's a good oak. Eric, wait in 30 minutes. I can work with that, buddy. That is, there's... There is something... Very, very good about it. You can tell that it was an American bourbon. I want to know if it's ex-bourbon barrels or, or virgin bourbon barrels, and I can't find that, and I forget what they said, but I uh, this is it's going to be one of my favorite ones. I wish I had a few more. I'm going to have to have a heel slayer tasting here and invite a bunch of friends over. I wonder if they sue to use an actual millstone to turn the grain into grisk. Why would they sue? Or do you mean choose? So I believe they're, they're old. They've been around for a long time. They make uh, some European type of spirit that I can't even pronounce, my man. It is, it is phenomenal. This is probably, for me, millstone. Yeah, if they used... To use an actual millstone. I, I don't know. It does say right here, milled by Dutch windmills. But I am going to get a hold of this, Peter, and I believe I might be able to get an interview from them. So we will try that out. This is this. Uh, you ever get one of those whiskeys where you just, you could smell it all night long? Like it's not a, the, 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 uh, aromatics of this isn't floral but i mean i want to say it's like smelling fresh bread but i think that terminology is used so much so 
So I think they've been around since 1976, this distillery. Oh, I was going to open up a High West, and I saw this sitting there, and I thought, you know what? I want to talk about this stuff. And it's, it's just, um, it is. And the reason I mention High West to this, they have no relation at all. But it has um, just that aroma that just keeps me wanting to enjoy it over and over and over. Hey, Dolph, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, it's been, what, since 10 o'clock, 10.30 this morning? Maybe it was 11. I don't know. I don't pay attention to the clock on my day off. Well, we'll talk, Ben. Okay. We'll have a... Do you have Google Hangouts? Maybe we'll uh, hook up through Google Hangouts and have a chat. All right, buddy? Dolph's here. The Homer. The Homers. How are you doing, buddy? What's with all the bottles in the back? I'm reviewing whiskey. That's what we're talking about here. This here is, and if you, Dolph, since you're in the same area, look this up. Have you ever had any Millstone, Dolph? No, I'm not drunk. <laughs> no, I haven't even drank one glass yet. So. Oh. Dolph, which one do you have, Dolph? The website, which I'm trying to read and do this at the same time. I should have read it first. The name Millstone refers to the Dutch mill grinding and the grain used for the whiskey. Yes, it does. Yes. So I got these are on sale right now, Dolph. Very good deal. They're like 50 bucks off. Uh, just go into liquordirect.ca. Okay. So I have the one that is exclusive to Cake and Cork. To which 100% rye though? The regular 100% rye? Who do I think Ben used? To... Oh, great. Okay. Oh, which Josh as in know my whiskey? Hey, Richie, how you doing, buddy? How's the weather in California? We're talking about some Dutch whiskey. All right, what do we got saying in here? You do make good beer, buddy. It's 78 degrees. Yeah, but you and uh, Richie aren't in the same area, are you? So, I would, I'm going to say, you're looking forward to my throttle wear. Wait a minute now. That could be taken more than one way. I got to take care of something here, guys. Hey, bourbon shenanigans. How you going? Ah, okay. I wish I had the, the verbiage that you do, Eric, to describe this. But one, definitely get oak off it. Not... Not so oaky that you can't get past that. I mean, look at the color of that in 10 years, though. Um, it does not say on it that it's unchill filtered. 
or color is added to it. But I don't think, I think he said in the tasting they don't do that. I'm getting, well, the the nosing note is, is just, it's, it's rye-like, but it's actually made with barley. I Ben, that's the first person that ever had me on their show, and yes, he's been on my videos. Yeah. I get lots of oak. I definitely do. I get a little bit of orange, but I might be cross contaminated with the other one here. And I need to add some water to it. It's it's at a nice ABV. I like forty three. Anything less than that, I uh, I avoid. But we're going to add a drop or two of water with my my Ralphie uh, cup here. You have a BS degree. <laughs> Beautiful system. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, that did change it very quickly. But we're going to let it sit for a bit. And we'll go to this one, which again is the Barrel Proof Rye. It is made uh, the case or the the whole cask was bought by uh kagan cork here in uh, my neck of the woods it's uh very good stuff but it this is uh 10 percent higher in abv you picked up two bottles of scotch and you're still in shock how come you're in shock bourbon sh shenanigans about how good it was or the sticker price. This is this is like orange and orange and orange. Candied orange. I think I'm trying too too hard to get a to nose this. This I have never diluted to tell you the truth, and it's ten percent higher ABV, so maybe we'll give it a shot. <laughs> Um, I was very impressed. Now, if you ever have a tasting with Peter Van Zunerman, he is a geek. He will geek out about your oil factories and all these other chemical terms and the whole process that happens when they're making stuff. And uh, I do enjoy that. I don't always retain it when it's just at a tasting. I would actually have to pick up a book and read it, if you know what I mean. Uh, ben, just ignore anything from anybody else there, buddy, okay? We're not going to bring that stuff into my streams. Thanks, man. No, I buy it from my the local liquor stores, buddy. Um, what is everybody else drinking out here right now? This, I think, needs more time. I just opened the bottle as we started the live show here. My Callens 2 and 3. I've tried them. I like them. I'm not a fan. But then again, I have a bad feeling in my mouth about uh, You looked up a bottle of Longmorn 16, and we'll get another this week, pouring some now. Which Longmorn? Like the old one? This is the American Oak, Dolph. Seriously, man, buy them. I mean, at 50 bucks a bottle, can't go wrong. The quality, I think, that was made in this. And and I think it was Eric Gibb that just said that they're, um, um, it's probably not 10 years old. It's probably closer to 13 or 15. And that's all they say in their descriptions. Minimum 10 years old. The new purple box, yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, I have nothing, but it is nothing like the old green box, greenish, whatever. Oban is your most earthy, candied orange peel. Is that yeah? That's what this one is like, candied orange peel. This is just get it at Kagan Cork, man. I think it's it's under a hundred bucks. No problem, Ben. You're a special kid. Don't forget that. So everybody knows this. Ben and I have chatted before. He's a friend of the food quigs. 
but sometimes it's a delicate situation and we're just going to keep it that way all right buddy this channel is about whiskey and maybe some motorcycles not drama old band 14 julia which old band do you have are you holding out on me anyway this american yeah now i'm now i put some water in it's gotten sweeter on the nose and uh can i say there's a little orange in it now um well i have uh one two three four five six your dad's giving your motorcycle and i'm old enough that's awesome buddy you ride but learn how to ride first be careful same as you so you have the the 100 ride that's for the cake and cork hard to keep up in comments man that's right it's about a dram not a drama keep it normal Uh, a, a little bit of water made that that uh, barrel proof rye whiskey special it's got you can really taste the orange now more than on the nose but that's that rye is amazing so this is a hundred percent rye on this side of the table this glass on my left hand and this is 100 percent barley 10 years old or or older is the way it's basically put right well you know where to come and get it right that's what i would do come over and try some I know you're going to do research for me there, Eric. So that's why I didn't do any research, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, you should, it's a good, healthy thing to have an attitude about a motorbike that way, buddy. I, uh, I went out and looked at my motorbikes today, and I'm going to probably start one up this week. I'm still tempted to start one up today, but we're not going to worry about it right now. So we're going to be on for about another 10, 15 minutes. And then we're going to join Eric Waite in his chat. Um, I hope that you guys will give this distillery a look. Millstone Distillery. This is what they're, right? And it's Zoodeman. Millstone. It's actually Zoidaman Zoidaman Distillery. Z-U-I-D-A-M. And I think it's awesome. Food Quick. How you doing, bus? Just in here talking about some Dutch whiskey. Have you talked about this Dutch whiskey millstone? I think maybe you did. I think I can't remember now what I saw underneath your uh, table there. So I'm drying here the 10 year old millstone. American oak, it's called. Right? you haven't tried it yet i think i think you're gonna like it um you got any friends in alberta besides maybe me and we could probably find you a bottle they've got a sale on it a certain liquor store is uh trying to get ready for the pot to be legalized that and uh, i mean uh, let's the whole story is they're also renovating several other stores because their big stores are gonna become cookie cutter stores boop, boop, boop. which may be good for us it's hard to say you never know it could be as a customer it could become bad i hope you do buddy i mean up here at calgary it's uh through a corporation or a company called craftworks and spirits well Storo, thank you very much for being a sub i appreciate that i don't think i uh i've got the chops like some of you guys yet but uh I'm gonna work on it. What Crown Royals do I have, Richie? I have, because somebody recommended not getting it, 
Let's see. We'll turn this around. I have another millstone here while I'm reaching for it. Um, this is the French oak. It's only 40% ABV, so I did not open it today. I wanted some with some meat. Julia has a video up about Jasper. I can't wait to go to their channel and subscribe and watch it. Uh, to answer your question, let me turn this thing around. I have the one that a certain group said is their first time they told people not to buy something. But you know what? I'd buy it. And I mean, part of the reason you buy it now, and I've opened this bottle. It's on the cart because it hasn't been put into inventory yet. I've opened it a little bit. Uh, it, by no means is it a bourbon, but it's not bad. But yeah, it doesn't have bourbon notes at all. It's almost, I tell you something, it's more on the lines of lot 40, not the cash strength. Um, it's interesting. I, I Because of the, the somebody saying they didn't like it, it's something that I had to try. And I agree, it is not what you expect. If you open it up and expect bourbon, it won't be, right? You bought some Crown Royal last night. I bet you did. You buy Crown Royal quite often, don't you? Boot week. Um, uh, uh, ben, I don't have a, I'm not using a, a Mac right now. I'm using a PC, but I will be purchasing a new one here soon. Or I'm going to try to soon. Uh, the other Crown Royals I have, Richie Z, are, I have this Northern Rye, which everybody says, you know, blah, 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 because of who announced it. But let me tell you that Northern Rye, from my research, is the first ones that came out. So that's why I have it up here. Um, the other ones later on that came in a cask or a bottle are different. Angel Envy Rye. The Millstone Lemon Rye is really funky. Well, I haven't opened up the regular one, which is this one there, um, Peter. This is an exclusive to Kagan Cork. Have you tried that one? The other one I think you're referring to is... This one. That is their regular standard one. And uh, let's take a look here, color wise, white only or white, uh, light wise. The regular one's a little darker. Not by much. I think it's close. 100 months old. 100 proof, 100% 100 grain, small batch milled by Dutch windmills. New American oak. It's new American oak. And I think that this 10 year old I'm actually talking about today is also new American oak. Which is very nice to see that. I mean, I know, and, and it's, it may be easier for them to order new American oak. It may be more expensive, but I mean, you got to think about it. Companies like uh, Beam Suntory, they now have the rights to all of Beam barrels. So it might be hard for some companies to get ex bourbon barrels. But this is like, it's just, it's just like, I mean, it's whiskey on the taste. But it is, uh, oh, I just want to smell this all day long. I swear to God, it's like they made it with oranges and, and, and they didn't. It is awesome. I'm very thoroughly impressed because it's not what you would expect. Uh, yeah, we got about another 10 minutes here at the most, guys, a little less. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that very much. Ben Arlego for subscribing. Yeah, which millstone did you have in Ontario? I keep seeing Rob using a millstone glass. I wonder if he got it from you. Thirteen. Yeah, you know what? That's it's changed a lot, then, Eric. If it's four to eight hundred dollars per barrel, is that for a new barrel? I, I, um, an old one. I was told they're about one hundred, hundred fifteen bucks. Whereas something like an Oloroso sherry barrel is like up to fifteen hundred dollars. Go Habs. Uh, you know what? I will have to open up. Yes, I think it is. 
I would have to open it up. I think that the, you're going to get, Richie, you're going to get more of a orange peel, like a fresh orange peel out of the compass box than you are out of this one. This is like candied orange, right? Dried orange that's had, you know, sugar stuck to it. You can get more staves out of the American oak tree. That would be a North American oak tree, just so we know, not a United States oak tree. Just throwing one into my American buddy there. Akapuma, welcome back, buddy. Nice seeing you again. Oh, Julia, it's phone calls for you. I made a mistake and forgot somebody's motorcycle helmet. I might have to drive over there and get it to them. So, anyway, guys, join Eric Waite and his channel. And uh, try some millstone. Off the top of my head, I'm going to give this probably a high 80. I think I'll stay with the traditional markings. I would never, I wouldn't go below 85 on this. I might give it closer to 90. I want it to open up and we'll revisit it, right? It's, uh, it's a good, it's a good dram. I think it's worth it. It's very well made. Um, whiskey. I mean, they don't, they don't, uh, they've had the experience of years of making different spirits. I'm going to do more research on them, but I know they make something in the area of over 600 different spirits at their still or at their uh, distillery. And some of it, Julia and I were trying it at a whiskey tasting. And, uh, you know what? I cannot, not a bicycle helmet, a coon. Uh, a motorcycle helmet. Um, they, I can't remember what it is. I don't want to call. I don't want to call it schnapps. It's not. It's, it's aged and pro done in a barrel. But this stuff is good. I don't know if I'd put water back in it again. Eh? Hey, Mr. Thomas, how you doing? Just saying goodbye here. Yeah, you have some motorcycle. Oh, yeah, mine aren't for quads. Mine are for street bikes. Anyway, we've got five minutes so we can go over and join Eric Waite in his show. Thanks for coming in, Ben. So we'll uh, we'll wrap it up. Salancha to everybody. Appreciate you coming in. We're going to start learning how to make videos and editing and live shows. And... Uh, and have fun with those. I think I'm going to have to get Eric Waite to give me um, a little test. You can't take a whiz before the show. You got to wait. And Food Quig will show you how to do that. Come on. You can go take a quig. Thank you, uh, shenanigans. Shalancha, Food Quig. I do not have Harley's Acapuma. I have uh, crotch rockets, we'll call them. My thing. I've ridden a few Harley. Not my thing. Thank you very much, Whiskey Thief. We're going to keep it simple tonight. And uh, we'll we'll talk to you maybe in the chat with Mr. Eric Waite. Everybody, salancha.